first we will have Rolle giving his presentation. Um, and uh, he has worked on issues on labor market, work and international migration and how, how they intersect. And he actually has a very interesting ongoing research project about how trade unions in Finland, Ireland and Portugal have responded to migration and migrants' labor rights. And he's a teacher of sociology of work and politics of immigration. And he will actually speak now about a book that the Migration Institute of Finland um, just published this year, which has been coming out both in Estonian and in Finnish. And um, Rollo was one of the editors of the book, and I will hand the word to him to say a few words about this book and about his take on the topic of today's panel. Go ahead, Rollo. Thank you very much, Sara, for the introduction. And thank, thank you very much for all the organizers of the conference and the possibility to be presenting our new book here. It's, it's, it's a big pleasure. Um, and actually, I could say that the circle is kind of closing because three years ago in Tallinn, where we had the same, same conference uh, live then, uh, we spoke with the former um, director of the Institute of Migration about the idea of, of um, editing a book that would gather to get gather together uh, different studies on this cross-border mobility between Finland and Estonia. So the idea had been there in the Institute for years and, and there's, there's been a lot of topic about migration between Estonia and Finland, uh, but there has not been one book anthology that would gather together all these different themes and topics that are related to mobility and migration. So uh, the book was actually published in spring already, but due, due, due to the, the COVID restrictions on mobility, we could not present it because the conference in Tallinn was, was cancelled. So now, now it's published officially and I will say a few words about it. So the book uh, looks like, like this. It has been published in, in Finnish and Estonian. And the introduction of the book has been translated to English. And as I said, um, it's published by the Migration Institute. The name of the book in English is Mobility, Migration and Transnational Connections between Estonia and Finland. Um, and there are, as Sarah said, there are two, two editors of the book. One is me, and then there is Kaja Kummerhaukanom, who's, who's the other, or the first editor. Um, and the book has gathered together 19 researchers from Finland and Estonia uh, who, and there are 15 different chapters in the book that uh, deal with migration and mobility from, from different perspectives. So it's a, it's a multidisciplinary book um, and actually some of, of the book authors are uh, have been presenting in the conference already, uh, for example or UCL, professors Jussi Auhiainen and T. Tammaru, they already spoke about some of the book's uh, topics and they have written chapters to the book. So thank you Jussi and T. for your contribution to the book. Um, so as I said, we, uh, the authors of the book, we represent different disciplines. There, is, there are studies on, on media, on cultural exchange, on how mobility and migration affects family life, um, there is, and also about, there's also not, not only about migration and mobility, but there's the aspect of, of transnational connections. And by that, um, we, we look at, at how, how people and different actors, uh, keep contact over the Gulf of Finland. And we also, uh, want to emphasize that migration and mobility, or let's say migration between the countries affects also those people who are not mobile very much. I mean, a large share of the Estonian population lives in Finland uh, and the Estonians have relatives in Estonia, contact with them. So let's say a big, big part of the Estonian population is, is somehow affected by, by immigration to Finland. And to some extent, migration from, from Finland to Estonia has also been, been uh, increasing. Uh, traditionally, Estonia has been a country of, of tourism for Finns. And, and Finland has been a country of, of work for Estonians, to put it very bluntly. Uh, but now I think during the last years, um, 
the phenomenon has become more and more diverse. Uh, there are different reasons for mobility and, and migration. Um, and this is what the book tries to look at. So, um, yes, then there are some chapters on, on as I said, about um, how about transnational life between the countries, how families uh, manage their social relations if they are separated in the two different countries. And there are book uh, chapter contributions by, for example, Pihla Siim and Keiju Telve on these topics, which are very interesting, I, I find. So thank you, Pia and, and, and Ke, Pia, Pihla and Keiju, Keiju as well. And then there's something about the use of electronic media, social media and so on. So let me move forward. So I think one of the main messages of the book is that migration and mobility has been a normal state of affairs between Estonia and Finland over the years. But this uh, state of affairs was interrupted um, during the Soviet era for a couple of decades. Uh, then mobility and especially migration was very restricted especially from from the Estonia from Estonia to Finland due to very obvious reasons um, but however the Estonian re-independence in, in 1991 removed all these restrictions and and one one can say that now these days Estonia and Finland are more interconnected than ever and what I think is also interesting that in, in relatively short time um, this migration has been very normalized and it has become a new uh, phenomenon. It's a very undramatic type of migration. Usually migration is presented in, in, in very politicized and, and, and dramatic terms in the media and in the public debate. But this, even if the Estonians are, let's say, the, the largest migrant community in England, then there's still not much, uh, it's not a very politicized issue. However, this, I think this is, this is something that has changed quite recently. Uh, in the beginning of the 2000, of 2000s, when Estonia joined the EU, there was uh, some fear and, and debate about uh, how the Estonians move, would move in, in masses to Finland and, and cause problems to the Finnish labor markets and uh, wages and so on. But however, this is something that has not really been, uh, it has not been realized. And, and, and the Finnish labor market has very much benefited from, from this type of mobility. Um, so, as I said, most of the chapters look at recent developments since 1990s, uh, but there are also some, some chapters that take more of a historical perspective. Uh, for example, that go back to the 19th century, and it may come, come as a surprise uh, for, for many how much cultural exchange there was between Estonia and Finland already before the two countries were independent in, in, in the 19th century. So some of these of the book's chapters look at cultural issues and, and this type of, of cultural exchange also. So um, I think well the COVID-19 has been mentioned already many times, um, I think What's interesting about that is is how how quickly the restrictions on mobility uh, came into force and and how 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 they made us realize how how dependent Finland is is of Estonia and Estonia is of Finland. So this uh, it, it, it has been so normal as an everyday phenomenon mobility between the countries. So we this the COVID nineteen then made it very visible in, in a very short time that that how how important these two countries are are for each other uh, but i think i will not say more about the book well i forgot to say that uh the book you can buy you can find it or you can buy it from the institute of migration you go to the web page um and what is important that is also you can download it from the institute's web page for free if you want an electronic co copy and don't want to buy hard hard copy of the book, you can download it from there. Uh, and I want to thank you everyone who's been participating in this in this book project, and also all the people who have been interviewed for these different studies that are represented in the book, and all the, the, the translators of the book who did a very good job. There was a lot of 
work to translate the chapters to both languages. And I think we have done a good job. Uh, so I think I will stop here and, and give the floor to the next speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, Roland. Yes, the book can be downloaded and purchased by the Migration Institute of Finland and it's open access, so you can download it for free. And yesterday we had an event where I was also giving a video recording where I said that um, actually thinking about the intense relation between Finland and Estonia, it's really surprising that this book didn't exist already. So I'm also very, very glad that, that Thomas back in the days uh, started the process with all of you. And, and, and thank you, Rolof, for all your hard work on this book, Patrick, and all the other contributors. Yes, and thank you. Yes, so, thank you to Thomas so Martikan as well. Yes, I will send him your regards.